A Pasadena family is devastated and angry after the family patriarch is found dead. Good evening, everyone. I'm Paul Majors. And I'm Pat Harvey. Gerald Sakamoto disappeared after he was arrested and released from jail with no money or cell phone. The family says he suffered from bipolar disorder. CBS 2's Randy Page spoke with his grieving family. He'd still be alive if they would have taken us seriously. Fighting back tears, Jason Sakamoto spoke to us moments after his family learned his father was found dead in a maintenance yard close to where he was released from the L.A. County Jail. 71-year-old Gerald Sakamoto was arrested by the California Highway Patrol early Friday morning. His wife Jane says she got a call about 2 a.m. and the Highway Patrol told her Gerald had been driving the wrong way on Highway 134, nearly causing serious injuries to other people on the road as well as to himself. She says she told the CHP her husband was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and that he lately had become severely disorganized oriented and forgetful. The CHP's response? I promise I will call you back. So he never called back. Jane Sakamoto says she then called many different law enforcement agencies and she finally learned that her husband had been booked into the LA County Jail. She says she spoke to a jail employee and explained her husband had serious mental issues, needed his medications immediately. She wanted to go down and see him and to give him a ride home. What was she told? He can't be seen until he's been, uh, uh, how do you say, evaluated. evaluated. Jane Sakamoto says she was told to wait six to eight hours and then call back. But she says when she did call back, she was told her husband had already been released. I says, why, what, why didn't you call me? I've been waiting for, for this call. You said not to come down. Our thoughts and prayers go out to uh, Mr. Sakamoto's family. Late today, LA County Sheriff Jim McDonald spoke about the case. We've uh, Preliminarily looked at videotapes and so forth, and there was no indication that there was any kind of distress, disorientation, or anything from looking at the video. But that only tells you know part of the story, as we all know. Uh, but we will continue to to dig down into this to be able from that hopefully get some lessons learned and, and move forward in a positive way. Jane Sakamoto says this January she and her husband would have celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary. He leaves behind two children and six grandchildren. In Pasadena, Randy Page, CBS2 News.